Please note that the following content is not meant for children under 13. Hey everybody, it's Oscar Sketches and today I'm doing a collab with Hattie the Creator. Isn't this cool guys? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I managed to score a collab with him. <laughs> this is so much fun. So uh, we did a video on his channel as well. If you haven't seen that, you should go definitely go check that out after you finish watching this video of course <laughs> in that video we redraw one of his son's art uh pieces and it's it's so cute you should definitely go check it out um and for this video uh, i actually picked the theme and uh i thought it was cool to it would be cool to draw joey my tortoise as a monster because Hattie does um, quite a few drawing cute things as monsters. Uh, he's drawn Pokemon and Baby Yoda and that kind of stuff and it's I thought it would be so much fun to draw Joey as a monster. I thought it would be a really cool idea so um, that's what that's what we uh, settled on and uh, it was I, I don't know how to feel about this because <laughs> Joey's a really um, he's such a sweet little cute tortoise um, and um, to draw him as as a monster I, I don't know how to feel about it because <laughs> he's so harmless like <laughs> I was um, I, t I was trying to debate how I wanted to make him um, more scary <laughs> and um, at first I didn't really want to draw any teeth because uh, tortoises don't have any teeth um, and still you don't want to get bit by a tortoise because they've got like uh, a, a very strong bite. <laughs> Even Joey, I wouldn't let him bite my finger. That would um, not be a good idea. <laughs> um, even though he's, he's teeny tiny, he's, he's very small. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was trying to uh, make him look scary without the teeth, but then I... I tried teeth and it looked uh, a lot better like a lot scarier I guess uh, <laughs> um, I guess most of this inspiration uh, I got from Lapras because Lapras has that long neck uh, and I was uh, trying to figure out hey how I can how can I make him scary and I was like okay I can just extend his neck like a by a by a lot, <laughs> well, uh, and yeah, I, I think it subconsciously um, started to look a lot like Lapras. I also wanted to give him a big tongue, and I probably should have. Now that I uh, look at it, it didn't look so bad. But when I tried it, I thought it didn't look good, so I didn't I didn't go with that. Um, but uh, yeah, he looks a lot more dragon like, which I really which I am a fan of because I love dragons. <laughs> um, yeah, but. Uh, I I had um, a lot of fun uh, drawing and, and lining it, but with the colouring I uh, um, I struggled a bit more. I think <laughs> it was still fun, but I uh, I just I wasn't really sure how to colour him because uh, I guess the cell shading I just wasn't a fan of, so I decided to go with some uh, airbrushing. But uh, I, I don't really like to use the airbrush either because I don't feel like it gives that good of a look, but yeah, I'm still I'm still relatively new to digital art, so <laughs> uh, an attempt was made, uh, especially if you compare it to Hattie's. I'm sure it will be so much better. I haven't even seen it, but oh my gosh, uh, I can't wait to to look and <laughs> to see what it how how he drew Joey. I'm so curious. Um, but yeah, at the time of recording this audio, I have not seen it yet. Uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I was also, uh, for the shell to make it look a bit more interesting, I decided to, um, like, pull out those, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, plates, I guess. <laughs> um, I know normal, I, I know normal tortoises of sometimes suffer from this condition, it's, uh, called pyramiding, but this is, like, to a, a whole nother level <laughs> but yeah if you see this on a normal tortoise it's not not healthy but uh yeah I thought it was I guess it looked kind of cool so that's what I tried uh yeah I was also really inspired by Hattie's uh artwork and Hattie's um I guess uh how he normally uh draws his monsters and stuff he also does them digitally and 
uh, he, he managed to get so much detail in a line work and I was like, how do you get that much detail in there? Because um, I guess maybe when I'm sketching I uh, add more detail, but uh, when I'm doing line work I don't tend to add in as much. I guess it's because I normally draw in kind of an anime style, so my lines are quite... Um, yeah, I only put lines where they, where they are absolutely necessary, but I really wanted to try um, like actually uh, <laughs> getting uh, some cool detail in the in line work and stuff. But yeah, I uh, I wasn't really sure to do it at first because I know Hattie always makes this uh, monster Pokemon look uh, super gross and, and stuff and it's really cool, cool with all the detail and stuff but I normally don't draw like that and I was um, I, I did a bit of sketching before this and I tried but it just, I don't know, it just wasn't my style, so it's like or not something that I would draw. If I, if I think of a monster, I didn't really think of something that's disgusting. I think of something that's real, real big and scary and stuff. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's why I uh, decided to stick with, because, you know, it's uh, it's my drawing. And it, would be, it wouldn't be fun if they were uh, absolutely the, si the same looking. So I, uh, <laughs> that's, that's why... Uh, uh, why I decided to go with, uh, I guess, more of like a um, kaiju type of monster. Uh, just a big, big old scary tortoise with teeth. Yeah, and a long neck. Like a really long neck. <laughs> yeah, uh, so <laughs> I cannot... Again, let me just talk about Hattie for a bit. I cannot believe that I got a collab with him. Oh my gosh, because when I first saw his, um, his channel, I discovered it through Jazza, as I think uh, a lot of people have as well. And oh, I uh, I loved his video that he did for Jazza's channel. And I, I definitely think he was um, <laughs> definitely worthy of that shout out. Wow, it was a, such a fun video. and. I just I stayed a fan after that. <laughs> I uh, um, I've been uh, watching uh, his content uh, and uh, subscribed to him, of course. <laughs> and it's just I don't know. It's uh, I I just love his content. It's so much fun to see him uh, drawing like uh, the monsters. Those always look really cool. But then he also does uh, like I mentioned the uh, drawing the redrawing of uh, his children's artwork, and that's. <laughs> That's really fun, I think, um, and it, it's all I, I always love those videos. I think they're so cute because uh, it's all about interpretation and how how do you interpret uh, like the way a child has drawn something. And then I do think his uh, his children are quite good at drawing, uh, much better than I was at their age. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I just love how much of a style he has. Like his videos are so his if that makes any sense like when you watch a how did he create a video you know exactly who it's from and i think that's just so admirable uh because i i do so many different things on my channel that i um i don't know if i have like a, a clear style or like a clear type of content that i always do but i i just love that from him and i think that's very um, I guess good for for a brand, you know exactly what to expect and you know exactly what you can get but he surprises you again and again and again because his art is so good and it's so cool and that that's just awesome, that's a really good combination and I definitely think that he has a lot of potential to grow and to have uh, an even bigger YouTube channel than he already has and to be even more successful than he already is and my gosh, like keep on creating dude you're awesome i love your content i'll always be watching <laughs> i just realized how creepy that sounded no i mean i'll always be watching your videos and everything you post and i love your stuff i love your style and just my gosh keep creating you're gonna be awesome and you already are awesome i just love your content and your artwork and i cannot wait to see more you're doing awesome keep going i love you you can do it <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I had a little bit of difficulty trying to get his neck to look right because if you don't know, if you've never seen a tortoise up close, they do have this kind of uh, fabric-like skin texture around their neck. So I, I was trying to figure out how to draw that properly and how to exaggerate that. Um, uh, so I added in a lot of folds and stuff and trying to make it look kind of like, I don't know, like a... Uh, 
like like fabric, I guess, <laughs> that was been, that have been draped around his uh, his neck, and I do think it, it turned out okay. Uh, I do like the way it looks, though. I was afraid it looked a bit too similar in tone uh, compared to the rest of the piece, like the um, uh, the the face and the. Uh, the shell and everything. So in order to fix that I messed around with layer styles a bit and with uh, trying to get uh, the correct overlay and seeing what worked and what didn't work. Uh, I think I ended up just sticking uh, with the way I shaded it right now though so uh, I don't know how much of that footage I'll include but anyway. <laughs> uh, I do really like uh, how it came out I guess. Um, I also added a shadow uh, underneath and I uh, in case you didn't notice, you probably did. I also drew uh, a tiny version of Joey, scared, and that was, oh, I, I still don't know how to feel about drawing that because he looks so scared and I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's, um, yeah, I, I, I probably would have jumped right in to protect him, <laughs> even though he's a big scary monster, uh, trying to, I don't know, eat him. <laughs> Poor Joey. <laughs> Yeah, don't think about it too much. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I, I still had a lot of fun uh, trying to imagine uh, what Joey would look like uh, if he was just um, a big old monster. <laughs> uh, it's it just, I, it's, it's really fun. I do really like the outcome. Then again, he's not that big because I imagine him being like as big as a house maybe when I first started sketching him. But then uh, you have Joey next to him for scale. So um, because Joey's so teeny tiny, he's only like five centimeters tall, uh, I guess you could say that this tortoise monster is actually, uh, would actually be around the size of your average dog. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I do, I do think that would be cool to have like, that big a tortoise. Uh, Joey's going to be that big maybe one day. Maybe not that big, but he's going to be bigger. Anyway, if you are just as excited as me to see what Hattie did for the collab, keep watching, because here it is. Hattie, take it away. Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. First off, thank you so much Saskia Sketches for inviting me to collaborate with you. I am very excited to jump into Photoshop and take your pet tortoise and turn him into a nasty, abominable monster. So let's do this! So as the standard goes for these type of drawings, first we gotta draw the cute little cuddly version on the left hand side reacting to what's to come, his monstrosity next to him. So I'm gonna draw Joey the tortoise here and try to make him look a little bit scared and, and a little curious and worried for his life as he looks up at this creature. I'm just looking at these reference images from Joey the tortoise's Instagram page. I took two different reference images to kind of give me two different angles of the tortoise and I'm doing my best to kind of draw out a version of him in my style. I am happy with the line art so now I'm going to take some colors from the reference images and paint them up. I'm going to do some cell shading and kind of give them a little bit of detail that way without having to get into too much work. I am now happy with little cute Joey. Now it's time to do the fun part, the monstrosity. So I'm going to jump in and lay down a sketch and kind of draw it out a little bit. And once I am happy with the sketch, I will start doing some line work, do some pretty lines. So I noticed Joey kind of has this little bump on the tip of his nose. So I thought it would be cool if his bone inside his skull there kind of extruded and poked out a horn. So he's got this rhinoceros looking horn. I also did something similar with his back, this shell. He kind of had these little spine looking things, not, not big, just kind of barely noticeable details on his shell. But I thought those would be cool if they kind of extruded out and turned into big old spikes on the back of his shell. I also took a few spikes out of his head. I thought that would look cool, little spiny hairs or cartilage or porcupine style spikes on his head and of course he grew some nasty teeth I think all of my monstrosities have teeth teeth are just so scary especially when they're big and sharp and they just turn a creature into a nasty monster pretty quickly so I love throwing in some fun teeth details
was a lot of fun. I love taking cute things and making nasty, scary monsters. Thanks again, Saskia Sketches, for the invitation and for letting me take your beloved pet tortoise and turn him and contort him into a nasty monster. I just love collaborating with other creatives. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you so much, and this is Hattie the Creator signing out. Okay, guys, so here we have the two drawings side by side. Oh my goodness, Hattie, thank you so, so much for collaborating with me. I had so much fun with this. Your artwork looks incredible as usual, and my gosh. Okay, guys, if you want to see some more artwork of Hattie and me, you should definitely go to his channel. I'll have a link in the description, because we filmed another video together where we redraw one of his son's drawings. It was so much fun to do, and I would highly, 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 highly recommend subscribing whilst you're there. Hadi makes some amazing artwork and incredible videos as I've said throughout this video and I highly 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 recommend subscribing because he's awesome and he needs more subscribers. <laughs> thank you so much Hadi again for collaborating with me. I absolutely love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I really hope we can do this again in the future. And for today's fan art feature, we've got this amazingly gorgeous piece by What the Vox on Instagram. Oh my gosh, that's it's it's so pretty. Oh, you know, it's an angel. That's so sweet. Like, I cannot. Like, I I was literally fangirling seeing this. It's so amazing to get fan art. It makes me. So so, so happy. Thank you so much. I love your artwork and I'm so grateful that you drew this for me. Thank you. I'm I'm so glad you like my, my YouTube videos enough to make me fan art. I'm still baffled by, baffled by that, that people actually make fan art for me. Thank you so much. I'm so, so thankful for this. Uh, please keep creating, keep sketching. You're amazing. Thank you so much for this fan art. And if anybody else wants to have their fan art featured on my channel, just tag me on Instagram and I'll definitely see it and I'll uh, like it and share it on my story as well. And oh my gosh, thank you so much everyone who's already made fan art. This makes me so, so happy. Oh, I love featuring fan art and meeting new artists like this. Amazing. Oh, and if you want to collab too, just DM me on Instagram. Chances are I would love to collab with you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend, guys, and keep on sketching. Bye! <laughs>